Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Narish Technologies. In today's video, I am explaining about cluster. So, what is uh, cluster and what for clusters are created? A cluster is a database object that stores data related to two or more tables in a single disk space. So, it is a database object. So, that stores data related to two or more tables in a single disk space. Uh, single disk space means uh, single memory location uh, that is called blocks. Okay. So, usually when, when you create a table, so Oracle allocates a segment for the table. Suppose for example, I will create one table EMP table, when you create the employee table, so a segment is created for employee table in that segment it stores employees table data. I create another table customer table, a segment is created for customer table and stores customers data. So, whenever you create a table, a separate segment is created for the table and stores the data. Then, so if the data stored in different segments and different memory locations, so suppose uh, sometimes the problem is uh, I will I want to join those two tables. So, suppose I submit a join query. When you submit the join query, then it requires number of I O operations and it has to uh, switch from one memory location to another memory location and requires number of I O operations. So, this may degrades performance. So, because EMP table data stored in one memory location, department table data stored in one memory locations. So, and it requires number of I O operations and switching from one memory location to another memory location, this degrades performance. Okay. So, but if you use cluster, the tables which are frequently, okay, the tables which are frequently involved in join operation, the tables which are frequently involved in join operation, so better to cluster the tables. So, for example, uh, there are two tables EMP table and department table. So, these two tables are frequently involved in join operation better to cluster these ta uh, two tables. So, the so that these two tables stored in single memory locations. So, it reduces number of I O operations and improves performance. So, this diagram this diagram okay. So, this diagram describes the difference between unclustered table and clustered table. See this, these two tables, one is EMP table, another one department table. So, these two tables are unclustered tables. So, unclustered tables means these two tables data stored in separate memory locations. Okay. So, EMP table data stored in one memory location and department table data stored in a different memory location. So, these two tables data stored in separate memory location. So, this increases number of I O operations and degrades performance. So, this this one is clustered tables. So, these two tables department and EMB tables are clustered and these two tables data stored in a single memory location. So, the data is together uh, stored in stored together and this improves performance. Okay. So, this is what the difference between unclustered and clustered. So, then how to cluster the tables? So, to cluster the tables you need to follow these steps. So, first one create cluster, second one create index on cluster, third one create tables. The first one create cluster, second step create index on cluster and third one create tables. Okay. So, just follow these three steps to create the cluster and first one creating cluster. So, create cluster, cluster name C 1 D number 2. So, I am creating a cluster, the cluster name is C 1 and this cluster is created with one column, what that column is D number 2. If you see the cluster creation, this is somewhat similar to creating tables. If you see the cluster creation, 
and this is somewhat similar to creating tables. Suppose here I will execute this command and you will understand why I created this cluster with one column. Okay, you will understand why I created the cluster with one column. So, cluster C1 D number 2. So, the cluster is created with one column. Next, after creating this cluster, next create index on cluster. I am creating index on cluster, create index C i 1. I will explain why I am creating index also. Cluster C 1, okay, create index C i 1 on cluster C 1. One index is also created, a cluster is created and an index is also created on cluster. And after creating this, next create the tables. The first step is create cluster, second step create index and third one create cluster, create tables. I am creating a table, create table department 44 in this one column is dnbo number 2, dnbo number 2, d name varchat to 20 next. So, here I am creating a department table, I am creating this table with 2 columns. So, but if you simply end like this, what happens is a separate memory is allocated for this department table a separate segment is created for this department table, then what you must tell Oracle? You must tell Oracle that, so do not create a separate segment for this department table, store this table data in cluster C1. At the end of the table creation, say cluster C1 in brackets dnbo, cluster C1 in brackets dnbo. So, that means this table data stored in cluster C1 and organized based on department number wise. So, this department table data stored in cluster C1 and organized based on department number wise. Next, I will create one more table, employee table, create table EMP 44. So, employee number, number 4, employee name, varchat 20, dnbo number 2. So, at the end of the table creation, cluster C1 in brackets dnbo. So, here, so in this employee table also okay, stored in cluster C1 and organized based on department number wise. That means, both the tables data stored in cluster C1 and organized based on department number wise. So, after executing this command, so this employee table is also created. If you insert some data into this employee table, so the data stored in cluster C1. So, both the tables data stored in cluster C1 and organized based on department number wise. Why you are organizing based on department number wise? I am organizing based on department number wise because I want to join these two tables based on department number wise. If the data is already organized based on department number wise, so join operation will be performed fastly. So, this will improve the performance of join operation because already organized based on department number wise. So, no need to do the comparison. So, which employee table department number, which employees department number is matching with which department table department number. So, that comparison will be reduced, number of IO operations are reduced and performance improves. Let us insert some data into these two tables. So, insert into department 44 values 10 next accounts. So, one record is inserted. Similarly, inserting one more record into this table values 20 and another record is research. So, I inserted two records, one is 10th department accounts and 20th research and insert into EMP 44 values employee number 1, name is A, department number is 10. Insert into EMP 44 values employee number 2, name is B, 20. So, inserted two records in the department table, inserted two records into employee table. Now, these two tables data stored in cluster C1 and organized based on department number wise. Now, so just see this. So, then how, how you know that? So, these two tables data stored in the same memory location. Uh, if you want to verify that, then see the row IDs. See, I will display the row IDs, select row IDs department number D name from department 44. Now, select row IDs EMV NBO E name 
dnbo from emp44 see the row id is so 10th department row id 10th department accounts and this employee one working for this 10th department so if you see the row id is of this two this row id is are same this row id is are same means this records are stored in the same memory location so 10th department accounts department and employee one working for 10th department this two records row id is are same means they are stored in same memory location same block next 20th department and research and if you see the employee two working for 20th department and these two row ids are same 20th department and employee two these two row ids are same that means these two records are stored in the same block same memory location same block okay so to verify whether this data is stored in the same memory location or not just see the row ids okay then so i submit a join query when i submit the join query i'll submit a join query like for example i'll submit one query like this select select something e dot star comma d dot star from emp 44 e department 44 d where e dot dnbo equals to d dot dnbo so i submit a join query when you submit the join query so it has to get the data from uh, cluster so because this two tables data stored in cluster c1 so it has to get from cluster but so there are two access methods one access method is table access and another one index access so oracle access the data either through table or through index so table access index access so but the now data stored in cluster c1 so how to access the data so that's why i created one index i created one index on cluster c1 in the second step i created one index on cluster c1 creating index on cluster c1 means creating index on cluster id what is the cluster id here the cluster id is department number because both tables data stored in cluster c1 and organized based on department number so department number is called cluster id so you created index on cluster creating index on cluster means creating index on cluster id so when you submit this query to oracle so first oracle goes to the index and index is pointing to the cluster so when you submit this query to oracle oracle go to the cluster index that ci1 and the ci1 is pointing to the cluster and it goes to the cluster and get the data so this is how the data is accessed so when you submit this join query to oracle okay so thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to narayshite